We're learning about the artist's names. Pablo Picasso. Pablo Picasso. We learned all about his blue period, and now we're going to be making a guitar inspired by it. So the first things that you're going to need, I'm just going to tell you about your supplies. So you have a big piece of white paper. You're going to have a long strip of white paper, so this one's half the size. And you're going to have a ruler. You're going to have a glue stick. And you'll need a scissor and you'll need a marker to work with, okay? That's a lot of stuff, I'll remind you, don't worry. So the first thing that we're gonna be doing on our white paper, on our large white paper, is we're gonna be making a very long, large organic shape. So an organic shape is just a shape inspired by nature, okay? So I am, I know it's not all in the screen, let me just pull that back so you guys can see it. Let's see what I can do here. So. If you look, you're gonna see that it's a connected uh, puddle type of shape, okay? So that's gonna be the shape for my guitar. Okay, I'm gonna put that to the side. And then with this one here, I'm gonna be making the arm of the guitar. So the arm looks like a capital letter I. And you can make it swirly, swirly like mine, or you can make it straight. You can make it how you wish. But these are your first two things that we're going to be working with. I'm going to go ahead and cut them out now. I'm going to stay on my line. I'm going to show you how to put them all together. So when you're cutting, staying exactly on your line. And as you're watching, maybe you're thinking about what type of shapes you're going to be using. So this way, when you get to it, you're prepared and you understand exactly what to do. So... I'm kind of changing my line as I'm cutting it too. Have you noticed? I'm not exactly staying on my line. And you know what? I actually think I want to change my shape a little bit. It's just what I feel like doing, so I'm going to. You just want to make sure that this shape stays large. So this is what I ended up with, okay? And now I'm going to cut out the arm. All right. And again, I'm just along and again you're probably thinking about what shapes you're going to be doing now as soon as I make my scraps I'm discarding them I don't want to have extra scraps at my table so I'm just going to throw them away as soon as I can so just about ready for the next step a lot of scraps here I'm gonna go throw them out and I have my two shapes do you see them okay so now here's what I'm going to do when I glue this I'm gonna put the glue on the side that has the lines that way it's flipped over does that make sense this way I don't see those lines so in uh, in both cases I'm gonna make it so I don't see the all those yucky lines right so now I'm going to glue this on so it's just kind of coming to the front of this, okay? Putting my glue down just like that, okay? And I've gone ahead and I've glued this down. So now, here we are at the next part. I'm gonna make the oval. You guys know this part, right? And now the next part's really important. The thing you need to know is that you will be using a ruler for all this. Are we using a free hand for any of this? Yeah. Gonna be using a ruler, okay? So take a look. We're gonna be making all different lines. You can use your Sharpie right away for this part. And when we get to painting next week, we're gonna be painting inside each of these shapes. Do you see they don't cross each other, yeah. right? So can I keep going through here? No. no. No, I have to stop. Okay, it's a little bit like the same idea as stained glass. Do you guys see what I'm doing? Yeah. Now, I say the more shapes, the better. Um, for this one, let's keep the inside um, just because. But then if you want in your sketchbook, you could design one without it. But it's part of the project, which is why I say to keep it. All right. 
It's a good question. So you can make as many of these lines as you want. And I say the more the merrier. And here I am. And I just want to show you, I could keep adding more lines or I could say, all right, I'm finished. Do you see how I glued this part? That's all we're getting to today. We're going to write our names on the back, okay? Is anyone absent? Perfect. And you're going to put your class code, which is 4B. All right, so that is all we're doing today. And I'm going to go ahead and sign off on my video.